So now we're talking to Anthony McBrain, who's just off stage here at the Monaghan Country Music Festival. How'd that go for you, Anthony? Unbelievable. Unbelievable atmosphere here. As you can see, the sweat's still coming off me. It was a very warm evening here in Monaghan. And it's great to see the, the, the weather. The, the, they couldn't have picked a better time to have a, have a show like this on the street. And it was just amazing. The crowd was great. And Robert Mazel's coming on now at 9 o'clock. It's just a great atmosphere. And fair play to the committee and everybody that's organised this to put it on the street in Monaghan. It's a great thing to do, you know. And how did you get into singing yourself? I, I'm into music 20, about 20 years now. Um, I was brought up in a big family of 14. There was always music in our house. There was traditional music. I was brought up listening to Susan McCann, Philomena Begley, Gene Stewart, Brian Call, all that. I'd always a love for music. And funny enough, when I was 14 or 15, I had a great love for rock music, you know what I mean? And uh, the heavy stuff. But uh, as it went on a bit, you know, I just started singing at a party one night, actually. And I just, I just loved country music. I, I always loved it. But I never thought that I would come to this, that I would be doing it for 20 years and singing. And I just got into it one night, I sang at a party, and this wee band was playing, and they asked me back. And then I, I went on the road with them, playing weddings and parties and stuff like that there. And that's how it started. And I never looked back, you know. And how long are you on the, uh, the road with the, the current uh, band? Me and Chris is together now, but 18 months together. He's, he's from Stavan in, in County Tyrone. He's a great piano player, and he's played with all the bands over the years. And, you know, I always say, if I knew what he forgot, I'd be happy enough. You know, he's, he's a very talented guy, and I'm very glad to have him, you know. Now, seeing you recently on Lord Cheer, that must have done you a lot of good. Lord Cheer was a great experience. Uh, you know, Susan McCann asked me to do it, and I said, uh, you know, I said I'm built for radio, not for television, you know. And I was kind of dodgy, because I like to be myself. And I, I always see with cameras and stuff like that there, as I say, and a, and a camera stuck on my face, but I always say a false thing. And I like to be myself, but I, I, I say to Susan that I'll go and do it. It's going to give me an opportunity of singing songs that I wrote myself that people over the country wouldn't have heard. And you know, it was the best thing I've ever done in my life because I've, I've, I've got a lot of work out of it. You know, I went in there and I got a great exposure. If you were paying for that exposure, you know, you need to be a rich man to pay for it. And you'll never get a chance on television again to sing 12 songs. And I loved every second of it. And you know, I didn't win it, I got to the final and I was very, as I said on the program, I came out a very proud man. I think I've done myself proud, my family proud, and the supporters that came down to Galway to support me. I've done them proud as well. So I couldn't have come out of it happier, you know? So it was good to have a friend in Philomena. Susan McCann. <laughs> Sorry, so it's good to have a friend in Susan. Oh yeah, well I, I met Susan through, through uh, recordings, I, recordings I had done. And she was a DJ on a radio station and I sent stuff down to her and she played a lot of it. And we became good friends, you know what I mean? And when she phoned me up and asked me to do it, Lord Chira, you know what I mean? I was honoured because, you know, there's a lot of great talent out there and a lot of great singers out there. She could have asked other people, but she picked me and I was very honoured that she'd done that, you know? So tell us about your new album. My new album was only released there two weeks ago. I launched it in Enniskillen on the 8th of July and uh, I had a great crowd, a packed house. And the album, I've, I've took a, I've done this myself, no record company, no nothing. I've done all this myself. I've picked the songs myself and uh, I've done everything. And I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon with this album. And I'm, I suppose everybody says, this is my best album. Honestly, I, I believe that, that this is my best album because I've, I've, I've took a lot of time in it and a lot of effort in, into it. And the product that Brian Kerrigan brought out of the studio in Letterkenny was absolutely fantastic. And you know, people can get that album uh, in, in the shops and if they went to a shop and it's not there, Ask them to get it. It, it. It's going to be there, or they can get it. Go, go on my web or my Facebook, um, or email Anthony McBrain, Anthony McB at hotmail.co.uk, and I can send it out to them. You know, the album's for sale. Okay, thank you for talking to us today at the Country Music Festival here in Monaghan. Absolute pleasure, and thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Song taken from my brand new album. It's just been released about two weeks ago. I wrote this song myself about two years ago. It's a wee song about my mother's radio. A very up tempo, happy song. It goes something like this way. Today or yesterday, it seems so long ago. And first thing in the morning that she was sure to do was spend a cup of coffee and catch the early news. You know, this is where I fell in love with good old country song. I used to love to watch my mom as she sang.
gone down, but her music still lives on. From the little black radio on a shelf on my wall. It is my prized possession, and I want you all to go. And a lot of what I've learned in life was on my first radio. Thank you.